ուղիտմ է միթի, սիրե ինպորմածիան մակ, խավոտոյին սուզանիս անոնիս տատակ աշիրեպիտ, էխը ուշողոտ կոտավիտեց չվենց պրոբլեմնած է, կոտանամի ամիտակ ավտոնունանամ չատվալասաճիրոտրո and everything, but uh, Dr. Lee and Dr. Nana thought that it would still be a good idea if you had a consultation with the gynecologist, seeing as though that the condition kind of uh, touches that area as well, yeah. and if there's any urological problems as well, you could tell her. Okay. Okay, that's good. Uh, first, I give you the samples I had to bring from the stool and the, and the urine. Okay. So those are the samples. Um, uh, I don't really have uh, a lot of uh, gynecology problems. Sometimes I have yeast infection from the antibiotics mainly. Mm -hmm. um, and also sometimes because of the bandages I use, yeah, the yeast infection comes up. So that's actually the only gynecologist problem I, I have at the moment. Mm -hmm. And my infections don't go inside my vagina or sometimes a little bit inside, but those are like more small, superficial. Yeah, okay. not really that painful so anything, far. <laughs> anything in the urinary system that we should um, know about? Well, one of the bacteria they found in one of my infection at the back is yeah. a Klebsiella bacteria. Yeah. They found that bacteria because uh, I had to look up my entire medical history because I'm also part of a study in the Netherlands about the bacterial phage treatment effect on my skin. Okay. And I looked through that medical history and a few years ago I had a bladder infection and they found the same bacteria, the Klebsiella, that was uh, resistant for the same types of antibiotics for uh, amoxicillin. So maybe if you check my urine, I don't know, it could be in there. Same okay, I, I, I don't. I'm not sure. Uh, what kind of symptoms do you? Anything urinary symptoms? Anything like burning sensation, pain, frequency of urination? No, no, not really. Only, only when I have the, the yeast infections. Only when you yeah. have the yeast infections, yeah. the bladder infl inflammation kind of follows. Yeah, uh, and also uh, the pain with with urinating and stuff because. But only in that area. Yeah. Um, she was if there wouldn't be any problems for you to get up on the chair. No. So today was the second day in the clinic, and as you could see in the footage, uh, I had an appointment with the gynecologist to just rule out I don't have any gynecology problems. So she did a physical exam, asked a lot of questions if I have any urinal problems, pain with being, um, uh, all those kinds of, of gynecological, pro gynecological problems sorry, <laughs> you can have. Uh, I don't have a lot. I have some yeast infections and, and that's it. And that's mainly because of the, the many uses of antibiotics or um, because of bandages or it all gets disturbed out there and then yeast infections are, are like a candy that can, can get in there pretty easily. So that's actually it. And then uh, they brought me into uh, to the room to clean my, my wounds again and uh, spray it on the phages. So this is what you're going to see next. <laughs> Is there anything on your shoulder there? Yeah, that's but what but worse. Oh, well got what is that? I said I didn't And I use um, the different bandages because the ones you use they give me the uh, the irritation. Yeah, so I, I brought my own. You can check me away, see more with an analysis. You can give them to her. Yeah. If these are soaked in phages, yeah. are they going to be soaked in phages? Yeah, they will. Uh, also, my pants will get a little wet, but it's the same with yours. My pants got a little wet yesterday, but that's okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, put the heels on. the heels on. I hope you do not have allergic allergies to 
towards better being. No, I don't. Two tiny tea, but uh, what do you wash yourself with normally? Water. Just water. Just water. Yeah. Nothing else. So I mean, I yeah. real... No, sometimes I take a bath with uh, uh, salt, sea, uh, Himalaya salt or sea salt, or but I don't wash. So I don't do something down there. Okay. To wash. You should wash yourself with baby soap. With what? Baby soap. With what? Baby soap. With what? Baby soap. She can give you betadine soap. Yeah. Did you put on the cream that they used? Yeah. Yesterday? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like Yesterday and, and, this, and today as well. Okay. <sighs> yeah, it's a nasty disease. So after they cleaned my wounds and sprayed phages on it and put phage bandages on it again, they explained to me that they are going to do that every day and I have to put on the creams once a day and then uh, the second time they will do it for me. Uh, and then they just spray on the phages directly instead of using uh, the cream. Um, still taking the oral phages, of course, still the intestinal phages. I use them twice a day. And they say it will take a while before they get back all the results of all the tests that they are doing. I gave them my urine and my stool sample. And the first test results will come back on about on Friday, they said. Uh, and then they can uh, view uh, if they already found some bacteria, already found some other uh, things that they uh, can treat uh, and, and use the treatment more um, specifically uh, than they are now they are doing more broad spectrum on the tests they already did in the Netherlands. So it was a pretty interesting uh, second day. And tomorrow I'll go back to the clinic and uh, hope to, to uh, shoot some more footage for you guys and uh, make a new episode. So thank you for watching all my episodes and watching my story. And uh, if you have any questions, send me an email and I'll try to incorporate it in all the documentary stories and uh, the Facebook lives that I'm doing. So everybody who wants to follow me, you can follow me on my YouTube channel. It's called Suzanne Hydrodonite Supportiva. Or you can follow me on Facebook and the Facebook page is called Help Suzanne. Um, Suzanne with an S, so S U S A N N E. So, thank you so much for watching, and uh, I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys!